Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example which is a combination of mensuration and trigonometry. In the diagram, AB and AC are tangents at points D and E to the circle with center O, and OP and OQ are the tangents at the same points D and E to the circle with center A. So there are two sets of tangents given here. One is AB and AC is one pair which is acting as a tangent to the circle with center O and another set OP and OQ acting as tangents to the circle with center A. AD is equal to 8 cm. So they have given the value of AD. So let me write it over here. It is 8 cm. And angle DAE. So this angle is given as 56 degrees. Calculate the length of OD. This is the one we need to find out. Now to solve this, I am going to concentrate only on the circle with the center O. Now here to find out the value of OD, we are going to make use of two tangent theorems. So let us first understand what those theorems are. The first one is radius tangent theorem which states that radius or diameter of a circle is always 90 degrees to the tangent drawn to the circle. So you can see over here that I have drawn a circle with A acting as an external point and through which we have drawn two lines acting as tangents to the circle. Now according to the theorem the radius or the diameter drawn from the center of the circle to the tangent is always 90 degree. So if I am going to draw a line from the center of the circle to a point on the tangent and here also if you are going to draw it this way the radius is going to make 90 degree with the tangent. Now the second theorem is two tangent theorem which states that length of the tangents drawn from an external point to the circle are always equal. So according to the given statement the length AD is going to be equal to the length AE which are the two tangents drawn to the circle. Similarly the length of AB is going to be equal to the length AC. Now the second statement under the two tangent theorem is line drawn from external point to the center of the circle. So if I take a line from the external point and draw it to the center of the circle this way then it bisects the angle between the tangents and the angle at the center as well. So here the angles are going to be equal. So if I take the entire angle as 40 for angle A then it's going to be 20 degrees over here and 20 degrees over here. And it also bisects the angle at the center. So here if it is going to be total of 140 degrees then it is going to be divided as 70 degrees and 70 degrees. So let us see how we are going to use these two theorems to solve the example above. So here OD and OE are the two radiuses of the circle with center O and AB is a tangent. So using the radius tangent theorem we can say that angle ADO is 90 degree. Similarly we can say that angle AEO is 90 degree and according to the two tangent theorem the angle between the two tangents gets bisected when we draw a line from the external point to the center of the circle. So 56 degrees splits up as 28 degree and 28 degree. Now let us consider the right angle triangle ADO. Now here since angle D is 90 degree, AD is given, angle A is given, we have to find OD. Let me draw this triangle again over here. Now let us write down the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent sides over here. So opposite to angle A is the side OD. So this becomes the opposite side. Now opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. And the remaining adjacent side is given as 8. Now since hypotenuse is not given, we need to find out the opposite and we have been given the adjacent. We are going to make use of the tangent ratio. That is tan of angle A is equal to opposite side over adjacent side. 
now angle a is given so we write tan of 28 degrees is equal to opposite side is the side od which we need to find out over the adjacent side is given as 8 so cross multiplying it we get od is equal to 8 times tan 28 so let us find out how much we get here so it is 4.2536 we can round it as 4.25 so the side od is 4.25 centimeter now this question has two more questions let us look at the part b of this question now find angle doe that is this angle is the one which we need to find out now in part a it was mentioned that angle dae was 56 degrees and using the radius tangent theorem we saw that angle d and angle e were 90 degrees now we can consider ODAE as a quadrilateral and we know that the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral will be equal to 360 degrees. So let us find out the angle DOE now. So we can write angle DAE plus angle AEO plus angle ADO plus angle DOE is equal to 360 degrees. So now substituting their respective values we have angle DAE as 56 degrees plus 90 plus 90 degrees plus the missing angle DOE is equal to 360 now let us simplify this further so we get it as angle DOE is equal to 360 minus all the values which are on the left hand side we take on the right hand side so plus becomes minus so simplifying this we will get a value of 124 degrees so this is the value of angle DOE over here now let us move on to the last part of this question calculate the perimeter of the shaded region now the shaded region is given over here which is a overlap between a particular region of the circle with center O and the circle with center A so let me label a point over here and say it is M so we have to find out the arc length DME which is a part of the circle with center O and let me give a name at this point as N and we have to find out the arc length DNE which is a part of the circle with center A so the total perimeter is going to be an addition of the arc length DME and DNE so let me start by considering the circle with center O first so here I have drawn the circle with center O and in part B we had found that the angle DOE was 124 degrees so I have written over here and in part A we had got the length of OD which is the radius of the circle and it is 4.25 so let us make use of this information to find out the arc length DME so we have the arc length formula as theta over 360 times 2 pi r where theta is the central angle and R stands for the radius of the given circle so let us substitute the values of theta and R so we have here 124 over 360 times 2 pi times the radius is 4.25 so this will give us a value of 9.1978 I am rounding it off to 3 decimal places so it will be 9.198 so I have written here 9.198 centimeter so this is the arc length of the circle with center O now let us find out what is the arc length DNE belonging to the circle with center A so here we are going to draw the circle with center A and we have to find out the arc length DNE and in the question the length of AD was given as 8 centimeter and angle DAE was mentioned as 56 degrees so again we are going to make use of the same formula to find out the arc length DNE so let me write over here so using the same formula for the arc length that is theta over 360 times 2 pi r the central angle for this 
circle with center A was 56. So we have substituted 56 here over 360 times 2 pi times the radius of the circle is AD which was given as 8. So we have substituted over here. So this will give us a value of let us see. So it is 7.819. So let me write over here 7.819. So this is the arc length of the circle with center A. So the total perimeter is going to be the sum of the arc length DME and arc length DNE. So let us add these two. So substituting the values of the arc length DME and arc length DNE we get over here. So 9.198 plus 7.819. So this will give us a value of 17.017 or you can just keep it as 17.0 centimeter. So this is the perimeter of the shaded region. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you know any other way of solving this example, please comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.